Let us pray. Most loving Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are in your presence this morning to glorify and to honor you, for you are the God in heaven and the God on earth. You are the God who is always with us. All the good times we have, all the very challenging times we have, and especially at this time, you are still with us. You are assuring us that you will never leave us, you will never forsake us. That is our word for today, that we hold on to you, for you are going to do a new and a good thing. Today we are gathered here, dear Lord, to think about the responsibilities that you have given us as believers to take care of the needy in the society. So dear God, as we go through the program of today, we want to welcome you. We want to welcome all the members that you're going to be with us. Everything that we're going to do, we are going to do it in your presence. So guide us and carry us through because we love you and we want to you to be with us right from the start. Even as we go on through, we pray that you are going to be with us and we are going to be very attentive to everything that you are going to speak to us. We commit ourselves to you. We humble ourselves before your presence. For this is our humble prayer of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Let, let us join together in the Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptations, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Take your seats, those that are standing. So we are gathered here as the social responsibility team. And because we are social beings, we are gathered here to think about the needy in our society. When Jesus was speaking, he said that the poor are always going to be with us. And we are gathered here because we are endowed. We have something that we can give to the needy in our society. And so we are gathered here as a social responsibility team from our parish, that is the two congregations, the St. Andrew's Congregation and the Kileleshua Congregation. We are gathered here so that we can do what we are called to do by our Lord. Because the Bible says in Proverbs 19.17 that whoever is kind to the poor lets God and he will reward him for what he has done. So I want to welcome all of us here, the representatives of the session, and the social responsibility team. Our church administrator, Kevin, is here in charge of the systems that we are using so that we look at what God wants us to do at this time. The social responsibility team is subdivided into subcommittees that deal with the various things that we do as a committee. We have a team that thinks about the Joseph Kangede Rehabilitation Center. We have a team that looks into the empowerment because some people that come to the social responsibility have very key needy needs that they need to be empowered so that they can go on and on working to get something. And we have another team that works for the social cases that come to us. So today, we are going to launch the issue of giving to the needy because that is what God has called us to do. And therefore, I welcome all of us, with or without anything, the love that we have that God is, has given us, it is what we are going to give by something that is tangible. So I welcome all of us to today's exercise. And I want to believe that by the end of this exercise, God will give us 
a way forward so that we start this very noble exercise. And because God is reminding us that whoever leads to the poor leads to God, and he will reward him for what he has done. So we are doing this so that we can give the name of the Lord glory, we can enlarge his kingdom, and we can also wait upon God to bless us and bless us in need. Praise be to God. Amen. Welcome our members. Many more things are coming. At this juncture, I want to introduce members of the social responsibility team and we are going to call upon the liaison elder, Elder Mushangi, to lead us in that exercise. Welcome, Elder Mushangi. Good morning, church, this particular morning. We want to thank God for such a time like this, these unprecedented times. And uh, as a social responsibility committee, in liaison with the session office and the moderator found it important for us to consider among ourselves persons who could be distressed. They don't have a place to work. Some of them are on unpaid leave. Others have been clearly redundant. And these are members among us. And uh, PC St. Andrew's Parish and the Creation Congregation we have a team that looks at the welfare of such people through the Social Responsibility Committee. And I'm here to introduce to you members that are here this morning for this noble task. Uh, the one who was here prior to me was our chaplain, Reverend Dorcas Kamau. With us also is our, the chairperson of Social Responsibility Committee, Madam Moya Kinjehu, who is seated behind me. We also have among ourselves our Vice Secretary, John Monini. We also have coordinators of various programs, and that we have Naomi, Gitao, and Radia Waidaka. We also have uh, the, the uh, representative from Kredeshwa Congregation, that is Madangani Moya, who is here with us to do this noble task. We want to invite all of us together to join us as a parish. This is our appeal that we remember members among ourselves and particularly our deaf congregations that are enabled differently. They are all on unpaid leave. We have several others that are also, as I mentioned, and I'm asking and appealing to each one of us that are able to skip a meal skip a meal, send that money to our church pay bill, and we are able to buy much more provisions so that we can be able to reach out to the many that are among us, and they could be hungry, they are going without a meal. I thank you, and uh, I want to invite our session clerk to take us through the next agenda in this launching of the Social Responsibility Committee initiative of PC St. Andrew's Benevolent Fund. Thank you. Buenas Fiwe. Please the Lord Church. Uh, as you have heard, my name is Patterson Kamara. I witness for Jesus Christ who is my Lord and my Savior even at a time like this when you are facing an unprecedented crisis from the coronavirus. It is a time when we are called upon to practice our faith. The faith in which we are commanded to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our strength, and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. This golden command is a summary of all the commandments since the days of the prophets and patriarchs. Today we are here to practice 
that bit of that command which tells us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. The Social Responsibility Committee of St. Andrew's Church has been practicing this love thy neighbor principle for a long time. They have a logistics office here in church, and every year they handle emerging issues, emergencies of floods, of collapsed buildings, and other crises, especially here in the city of Nairobi. This time, we are facing a different crisis of a bigger magnitude than what we have witnessed in the past. It is therefore a call for us as SRC to examine our manual, to examine our terms of reference anew. They were framed for a crisis just like this. A time when we are called upon to go the extra mile and reach out for those people who are hard hit by this crisis. Remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew 25 and, and verses 32 for following, where it says that all nations will one day be gathered before God, and he will separate us the way a shepherd separates the goats from the sheep. And he will separate them, guided by the principle which says, in verse 35, I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. Today we are called upon to reach out to one of those or two of those who have no food. And that is why today the purpose of this event is to launch a giving program which you are calling the St. Andrew's Benevolent Fund to reach out to those who are hard hit by this crisis. SRC and the entire St. Andrew's congregation have been called upon to give donations which we have continued to receive as you can see here. We have a lot of food stuff and we have much more than what you can see here so that we can take it to those who are disadvantaged in our communities. The sick, the old, the senior citizens, our members who are in difficult circumstances because of this virus. Even as we pray for them, even as we go without visiting them because of the rules against visits by coronavirus, we can still reach them despite the difficulties we have and spread the love of God to where they are. That is our function, to take the love of God even to those who are in pain, even to those who are hungry, even to those who are disadvantaged. So that's our purpose this morning, to start a program going forward into the future. And it is going to survive the coronavirus because, yes, you have said SRC, has been an ongoing ministry in this church in season and out of season. And Corona is teaching us to be better prepared all the time because you never know when a crisis comes. I want to thank you, Elder Mushangi. I want to thank you, Chairperson, Muyaki Jehu, and all of you members of CRC, thanking you for the sustainment and the resilient efforts that you have made over the years, and to assure you that your labor will not be in vain. We shall now be going into the formal launch, but before we do so, we shall, I will be calling Mwehaki to read Matthew 25 onwards. Mwehaki. We are going to read from Matthew 25, from verses 31 to 46. The sheep and the goats. And I will read. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, 
and all the angels with him. He will sit on his throne in heavenly glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another, as a shepherd uh, separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say uh, to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needed clothes and clothed you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did for one of least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cast into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or needing clothes, or sick, or in prison, and did not help you? He will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did, not, uh, not do you, uh, whatever you did, not do you one of the least of these. You did not do you that to, for me. Then they will say, away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. That ends our reading. Can we pray together? Almighty and everlasting Father, indeed we are so grateful that among the many, you have given us a permission and a chance and an opportunity to assemble in this sanctuary, dear mighty God. We thank you, we exalt your holy name. Because one day being spent in your courts, in your altars, is more beneficial than many other moments that we may spend elsewhere. We are here for a very noble task, dear mighty God. As we reflect on the situation that we are going through in our country, and not only our country, but in our continent, and the whole world at lunch, we feel, dear mighty God, there is something that we can do to the less fortunate and those people, dear mighty God, that, that are so much affected or even infected by the current pandemic that is touching the entire world. Be with us, dear mighty God, and minister to us. For you have called us, dear mighty Father, and we have responded. Hear our prayer, for this we pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, dear members. Because at one time this was just but a mention through the office of the clerk that we need to come together as the members of SRC. In this church, we have that one committee, committees or the entities entrust, entrusted with the various tasks to ensure God's kingdom is moving on in the church. And among them, we have this committee. And the meaning of the word is the word. We are talking of social responsibility committee. And that's why our sister, Buyaki Jeho, she is the chairperson. And we really appreciate. 
because it's a calling. And why we have Elder Mushangi as the Rawson Elder and the members that are seated here among the many. And as we assemble here, we are not reinventing a new wheel. The committee is, all, is already there and we are now responding to the impact that we are going through as a result of the COVID-19 in our country. And we thank God because even as a committee, chairperson, when you are starting the year, with the, even with your TOR, we didn't know that in the month of March, we will find ourselves assembling to come and attend to what we are going through. And therefore, we are responding to the calling that we have been called by the Almighty. At the national level, we have seen what the government is doing, introducing new tax in order to caution people in various areas. And therefore, that is communicating volume. There are people that are affected. And the government is coming at that level. And even for us as a church, we have already tested the water, Clark, you know very well. And the reason why we decided to have this kind of exercise today to come and launch our benevolent fund. For the last two weeks, we were so much proactive, testing and uh, trying to evaluate the situation and how far it has affected our members. As this has been mentioned here, you know we have the, these, this congregation of the hearing impaired, majority live in Kitengela and others within the city. And some of us, we had an opportunity to visit. I remember I was in Kitengela visiting about nine, about nine no, not nine, but 12, because we requested the coordinator to identify the cases that are extreme. And we came to realize, majority, like as has been mentioned here, they work in EPZ, they are on compulsory leave, which is indefinite, and they don't know where they are coming back. They are there. Those that are, live within Nairobi, and they are about 60 in number, and we had an opportunity to visit about 12. The, the, the very critical one. And therefore, we came to realize that's a small number among the many. That's why, as a result, through the consultation, as an office of the session, and also your committee, we felt that we need to make an appeal to our members. And through the bulk SMS and uh, our digital platform, we have been able to communicate to our members they are aware, plus many others that are there. And then we felt we need now to come and launch this benevolent find in order to make an appeal. And as I look around here, I can see the response among the many. I understand even there are people who have gone to purchase so that at least may attend. We have also called upon the elders at the district level to identify there is even a form so that by the end of the day, we may give an account of how many people that you have assisted. Therefore, members of the SRC from Keleleshwa at the PCS St. Andrews, we are calling upon you because you are also quarantining like any other at home. And when we made a request for you to come, we want to thank God for the representation that you can see here because we know the people that have the information. Because we are law abiding citizens, you cannot call everybody to come here. And this is according in the Bible. And what does the Bible say about benevolence? Helping the needy. Because even among many things that we want to do, besides giving the material thing, we want to give people hope. We need to give people hope. The word benevolence is a Latin word which talks about the wish, wishing somebody all the best. Therefore, as we talk about launching the benevolent fund, is the is a whole question of at the back of our mind, 
the quality of being well and kind. Because there is no way you can think about other people without having that virtue of being kind. And you can be kind with your time. Like the members of the SRC. If there is a time that we need you more than any other time, in terms of your time, it's around this time. It's their disposition to do good. When you talk about benevolent, it's that disposition to do good. It's an act of kindness. A generous gift. And remember the beauty of any gift is not how mighty and big it is, but the spirit that is there. And when you talk about the whole question of benevolence fund, is where we go over and above us. It's a wake-up call that we have been found by this pandemic. It has affected all the sectors. And that's why we are coming in to respond. And remember elsewhere, it's not how much you, it's not what ma, how much you know, what much you know, but about how much you care. That's where we are, and we are being called. And God has pioneered in this, caring for us. We are within post-resurrection period. For God so loved the world, he just gave his son, so that we may be united and enjoy the totality of life. And we are being called. Even Paul speaking to the church of Galatians, do not get weary to do good. Carry one's burden. And that's where we are. And when we talk about the need cases, they are fair. They can even be quantified. And brothers and sisters, as we do this job, and I'm making this appeal to the members of the SRC, and I want to thank God because, Sergeant Clark, among the many committees that we have in this church, SRC is very active. We know you people, and now you have been called upon now to come and give this service. We are going to establish the structures. We are going to launch it. And we are going to talk to the donors to bring. But how this thing will reach the intended, we need the upper hand of the SRC. And Mohaki Jeho and your team, you are equal to the task. We do not have any doubt. It is the desire to do good to others. The whole question of charitableness. We need to be charitable to other people. And that's why we are being called. I know, and as, as I talk here, I know the structures are in place. The goodwill is there so that we may move together. So that when this COVID 19 comes to an end, people can give a testimony. When we were mass pushed to a certain corner, our church came to our rescue. We may miss to do much, but uh, at least that day they bled. That day they bled. Let us be available for the same. Who to go on our behalf? Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due. Like Prophet Isaiah. There's a big question, who to go on our behalf? Who to bring the information and give the data as we stand even doing that small thing, do smaller things in a greater manner. We have been called. And remember what the Bible says. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes other people will prosper. So, brothers and sisters, the members of the committee, them that are seated here, and them that are going to listen to this information, when you do good to a poor, you refresh, and you refresh their mind, you do it to the Almighty. And that act will be rewarded. So do it and do it well. Whoever oppresses the poor shows the contempt to the maker. And that's why we are coming in. That we can give an upper hand so much and compassion to one another so that the Lord God may be known. We are not going across our county. We are not only going across the other side of the river. Let's start in Jerusalem. And I think I call upon the, 
mwenyekiti and the elders even as we target to go out remember Jerusalem we may have those cases that they, they may be there they may be there remember to attend because there is a tendency you may think to go to Samaria and Judea but Jerusalem we may have check because you have the data and you are equal to the task poor people we have them all the time that was mentioned even by our chaplain here remember this lady who went to anoint Jesus with a very expensive perfume and some people looked around and said this lady must be very extravagant and Jesus intervened and told them the poor you have them all the time but the time has come for me to be attended we know we have the poor people and remember there's the difference between the poor and being needy our people may be needy at this particular time because they have been put to a corner this is the time we have been called don't listen to other voices you are moving out to go and give an upper hand. Whatever you remember, wherever you are sitting at home, the much that you have release and impact the life of other people. We are being called upon. God takes up the case of the poor and he protects them. And God is so passionate about the poor. God is an advocate to the oppressed. He is a refuge for the oppressed. May the Lord God be May the SRC of PCS and Andrews Parish, that is PCS and Andrews Andrew Church and Kilelesha, may you become a refuge to the COVID-19 victims because they are there. May the Almighty God minister to you and see you through. And among many things that we may offer to the members, let us not miss to give them the hope that when you pass through the tunnel, there will be a time, brothers and sisters, COVID-19 will be a thing of past. And we shall give a testimony we overcame. We do not have any doubt. These are material things. May this material thing given by the members, and even for our driver, uh, Mr. Kemani, and Paul, they, did to do, they went to do some patches in order this to reach the intended people. As I bring this one to an end, remember this, the widow of the Seraphath. When he was confronted by the man of God, she said, oh, what I have is little flour, and I'm with my two sons here. And all oh, what I'm looking forward, once we are done with this, you also be promoted. And she was told, this is what you have. And remember, thereafter, she never racked, even for us. I may have a shilling, I release. I may have my time to go. Administrator, it is during such a time, Jane, that you are here to work with the SRC for this that will be given by members to reach the intended. May the Almighty God bless us and keep us well. And without much ado, because we want to launch this one, then we say a prayer and bring it to an end. I call upon you them that are sitting there, we come all of us here and consider social distancing so that we launch this exercise. We are inviting you from there, a kind of same circle. There. So now, members, let's give thanks. Shikiria Kitu. Dear mighty God, we want to thank you for the food staff and the other items that we are holding, given with a lot of wrath, and even mighty father, putting aside some few coins from our budget, in order, dear mighty father, to reach them that are in critical need around this time, dear mighty God. We know, and it has been communicated to us, there are people without the, the daily blood of their table. But that's why, dear mighty God, we want to thank you for this committee, committee of the SRC of the church. Created, dear mighty Father, to be attending to such cases, dear mighty God. We are here on the behalf of many others. Let it, dear mighty Father, to move from Jerusalem to Samaria and Judea. And dear mighty God, share the love of Jesus Christ. 
share the little that we have. Therefore, dear mighty God, like the window of Seraphath, who released what she had, and thereafter she never racked. That's what, mighty Father, we want to demonstrate. The much, the retro that we have, given by our members, in our budget, dear mighty Father, because we have a location to it, we want to release this, dear mighty God. And we are here, dear mighty Father, to launch this benevolent fund. And we want to do it, being guided by you, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we all say, Amen, Amen. Listen it up, up. That's our way to release. Can you walk like you are taking it to the members now? Walk. Thank you. Receive whoever you are members. It will be done with a lot of love. Let us say the grace together. And before we say the grace, because we're going to say it later, we need to have, after we say the grace so that we are done with the cover range, we're going to then have time to listen, listen it together. Let's say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you.